how do we create controllers in Dash Studio? They're very powerful little things in which you can change multiple parameters at the same time. There could be morph targets, there could be joint rotations, there could be all kinds of things. And the Pose Architect products, they make heavy use of that with, with, in conjunction with other things. But uh, I thought I'm going to show you how this works. I'll use my, my latest product, the StreamSafe Texture product and just pick the bottom right lady for this demonstration. And I'm gonna go and apply various bends to her that I will go and add to my own slider. So let me go and do that. Let me go and bend her into position and make it something rather complex. Let's use power pose for that. So I'll go and make her bend over like this. And then I'll have her arms bend as well. That's a little tricky to do this direction and maybe that direction as well like so and then we'll do a bit of correctiveness on here to make it look funky so yeah it's the front and back and a bit of twist i suppose and some and some bending like so that's cool and we do the same with the other arm with the other shoulder should i say like that and maybe just have her basically just bend, bend over as if she's exercising. There, they'll, they'll do, they'll do. So this is a very complex motion that's happened on various joints. And I can make a single slider that makes all these things happen at the same time. And that is done with the controller. So what we can do then is first of all, check the top level of our person's hierarchy and uh, put the slider anywhere we want. So I'm gonna go and put it maybe under actor, but there's so much stuff under actor going, but um, I'll, just, I'll just add it on here. First of all, I'm gonna put this into edit mode. So right click and hit edit mode, then these, all these sliders become editable. And I'm gonna go and create myself a new one. So just uh, right click and select create new property. And that is the physical slider in the interface that will hold all these bits and pieces. So I'll create that and I will call mine and a bend baby name. If you type that into name, then the label is populated as well. The only thing I'm going to do at the very bottom here is that I don't want this to go into the minimum value. So I'm going to go and switch this to zero, but everything else stays the same. You can give it colors and you can give it, you know, paths and where exactly you'd like the slider to show up. But I'm going to stay under actor for now and then just hit create. And that's now created me a property here somewhere. I can't quite, there it is. It's difficult to see. So I'm gonna go and filter this out. Bend baby. There, that's it, that's my slider. So I'm gonna go and crank this up because currently it doesn't do anything, but I wanna marry it up to all these things that I've just dialed up as joint rotations in my character. So really all I have to do is right click this slider when it's in edit mode and go underneath here under ERC freeze. ERC stands for enhanced remote control, I believe. And when you click that, a little dialog comes up that will show you all the things that are now married up to this controller. And I'm gonna leave them all alone, hit accept, and that is that. So the magic really happens when I take this thing out of edit mode now, that this one slider is gonna make this happen. I can say, bend baby. And then all these properties are being dialed in at the same time. So you can make amazing poses with that, or you can uh, create, you can, you can add morphs to this as well if you want. But yeah, that is what a controller can do. And it can literally free you up from having to dial up certain things that you keep doing all the time. You can just go and put them all onto one slider, onto your custom slider, and then go and save that out. Very cool, huh? So this will be saved with your scene. If you go uh, file, save as, uh, scene or scene subset that will save that but if you wanted to distribute that then this is handled like a morph so if you ever wanted to uh, share this with someone exactly this is the erc magic again exactly and you start off the day with some stretches that's that's right that's, that's healthy isn't it healthy if you want to have your genesis characters exercise and that's the way to go if you wanted to share this with somebody or if you wanted to make this available on other figures of the same generation you have to save it as a morph target so this is treated as a as a morph slider and that is under save as support asset morph asset so if you do that then it is somewhere in here in the genesis figure i've put mine under actor and there's bend baby so you click that 
and then you save that out. Make sure it's in a suitable library. I would imagine a completely empty library should do the trick if you wanted to share it with somebody. If you put it in the main library, then it'll this, this dial is gonna be available on every figure of the same generation that you load in, so careful with that. That's how that works. That's how we set up controllers. Thank you, Michael. I'm glad you appreciate that. I'm glad you like it. Come on, Ben, baby. Huh. Huh. Give me 50. Huh. Huh. 